Hey, Mr. F here, and welcome to the first video for Tinkercad. All right, so you want to get to Tinkercad. Here's what you do. What I recommend is that you go to the internet browser, Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and double click it. And you're going to go ahead and type in Google. Oops, there we go. Control Enter. And it'll take me to Google. And now you can go ahead and type in Tinkercad. Now, for those of you who know how to make bookmarks, okay, go ahead and make a bookmark. Just hit that star and you're in Tinkercad. Also, you could put it on your desktop like I did. And you notice Tinkercad, it's there. Nice, awesome, sweet. All right, if you typed in Google and Tinkercad and you want to do that every day, that's fine. If you don't want to use a bookmark, go for it. All right, and then you notice Tinkercad shows up in the Google search. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Tinkercad. And Tinkercad opens up. Now, it's really important that you are in Google Chrome to start off. Now, if you notice that you're having some sort of glitches with Google Chrome, then I recommend going to Internet Explorer. But for your first option, Google Chrome is what you want to do. Really important. All right, the next thing that you're really going to want to do is sign up. Okay, so when you click sign up, you are going to create your username and password. This is really important for when you sign in that every time you use the same username and password. So what we're going to do is create a notepad document so that you can remember your username and password. So I'm going to go to the Windows icon start button right here in the bottom left corner. Just click on it and I'm just going to go ahead and type in note. Pad. So make a note of it that I'm typing in Notepad. All right, and then you'll notice the programs that show up are Notepad, number one. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and type in my username and password so I have it every single day. And my password, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, but you make up your own and make sure you write your password down in your Notepad. All right, so I have my Notepad document. I'm just going to go ahead and save as. Make sure you save your notepad document in your T drive so that you have it from computer to computer, just in case you were a naughty student got moved. <laughs> just kidding. But anyway, sometimes computers have glitches and you just want to make sure you save your password and username into your T drive. So I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, you notice how I have my document right here. And then you'd click save and it would ask me to replace because I already have it there because I'm a good like that. Make sure you do click save so you have your username and password. It is in your T drive and you have it for that next day. So when you're signing in, you don't know what um, is going on. You can go back to your notepad document and load up your username and password. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my username and password that I saved to my T drive just in case on my notepad document. And I'm going to sign in. And you really want to know my password. Too bad. All right, signing in. There we go. Never reveal your password to anyone. <laughs> Mr. F, I did some awesome work the other day. Check it out. It's gone. Ah! My neighbor accidentally saw my password. Yeah, and deleted my stuff. Not cool. All right, make sure that password becomes safe and that no one knows it. It's kind of like your locker combination. You never know who can access it. So make sure it's only you. All right. We have our username and password. The next thing we're going to do is make sure we go to the tutorials option. I'm going to go to learn. You notice how it says learn here? I want to learn. Yes, I do. All right, so we're getting started with Tinkercad. I'm going to scroll down, and you'll notice there's all these tutorials. Wow, so much to learn. We've got basics. We've got accessories. We've got gadgets. We've got buttons, jewelry, miniatures, figures, home decor, and more. All right, so looking at it, what you're going to do, which is required by Mr. F, um, is that we are going to go through the basic lessons. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, I can count, um, lessons on basics. All right, so you must do all the basic tutorials. When you are done with the basics, I suggest you then choose the next ones carefully in regards to what your project's going to be based off of. If you're going to make jewelry, I suggest you do the jewelry tutorials. If it's something in regards to buttons, oh, these are kind of cool. Yeah, it's cute. Oh, yeah, I want to do it. Yeah, make sure that you then complete the buttons. Gadgets, if you're going to do something gadget-wise, simple machines, so forth, do some gadgets. We've got all sorts of tutorials. This will help you on getting on the right foot, or if you're a left-footed, on your left foot. All right, but again, 
Your first requirement is your basics. Really important. I'm going to go ahead and you'll notice how it says done. That means I completed it. That lets me know um, that you have completed the tutor tutorial and that you are awesome. All right. So if you want to complete a lesson, I already completed this one. Then I'm going to go to the next one, begin lesson, and it will walk you through literally how to do it. So it says time to learn. Look around and zoom. So I'm going to go ahead and look around and zoom. You know, oh. Thank you very much, <laughs> Elvis Presley, yeah. All right, so just a heads up, um, then you click next and follow the tutorial until you have completed it and it says done. Make sure you follow the steps, otherwise you will be cheating yourself out of the experience and then you'll be like, Mr. F, I got questions and you could have learned them in the tutorial. Help me help you, help you help me. All right, so make sure you follow the tutorials and then when you're done, you can click this Tinkercad logo, go back to learn, It'll say, scroll down, done. Okay, make sure you complete it all the way though. All right, um, and finally, I just wanna show you when you go to the Tinkercad, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create a new design. It's important that you create new designs. You'll notice you could see with these little windows and they're loading up that you are creating different uh, documents for your projects. Really important that you do that, that you separate, you keep organized, you label, we will go over how to label and so forth, um, and then we will go into specifics in the next lesson. But make sure you label and make sure you save your document. But it does automatically save, so that helps, but it's always a backup good to save. So I'm going to go ahead and click New Design. Remember, I went to my Tinkercan icon, clicked on that, and then it took me to the screen. Create New Design. Shabam. There we go. It's a new design. It's empty. It's a whole new plane. Yes, I sing. It's crazy. All right, here we go. So I have my whole new document, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and I want to go to the design, and I'm going to go to properties, and I'm going to go ahead and label this name Swanky Dupe, whatever that means. I don't know. It comes up with its own goofy automatic name. So I'm going to go ahead and type in project one lesson, um, Mr. F. All right, and there we go, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Save Changes, and you'll notice it is labeled. I like to keep organized, and you'll notice I can zoom in, zoom out, and do all sorts of cool stuff, which I will get into my, with my next lesson. But thank you for watching my first video. Um, feel free to go back if you missed a couple steps, um, making sure that you are getting started with Tinkercad and making your experience really awesome. Again, if it's glitchy, you are in Chrome, go to Internet Explorer and vice versa. If you're in, in Internet Explorer, go to Chrome. Um, so yeah, um, enjoy and uh, have some fun. All right.